Hey everyone! So today's video is going to be a really short review on Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and it looks like this. It's a really good dupe for the beauty blender and if you guys have heard about it, it's been talked about here and there since about, I want to say September. Um, but I finally got my hands on it because it's been sold out for so long. I went to my closest Ulta at home in Jersey and they had it so thankfully I was able to pick one up. I'm going to do a little short review on it and you know kind of compare it to the Beauty Blender to give you guys some kind of insight on you know the two. So I picked this up at Ulta like I said and I've been using it for about a few weeks now maybe maybe like rounded off to like about a month and I honestly have no complaints about this sponge at all like it's a godsend. I honestly was saying that I love this sponge so much better actually than the Beauty Blender and don't freak out on me because I know Beauty Blender is just like holy grail for a lot of people. It was for me for a long time but you know I can't justify anymore paying $20 for a sponge and it, it just kind of over time just kind of starts deteriorating so I, I just can't justify that price anymore so this sponge actually retails for $6. Um, you can order it off of the Real Techniques website and I just, I don't know, I have no bad things to say about it. It's just amazing. It's so close in comparison to the Beauty Blender except the shape is different and obviously the color. So I'm going to show you guys what they look like side by side when they're dry. They've been used so they're, they're dirty. But this is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge when it's dry. It's really small. It fits like kind of in the palm of my hand here. And then here is the original Beauty Blender. These are them when they're both dry. They're really small. They feel the same when you kind of squeeze them. They're, they're squishy, but they're a little dense when they're dry. Here they are when they're damp. So here is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And you can see as compared to when it's dry, it gets a lot bigger. It's very, very, very soft. And then here is the Beauty Blender compared to when it's dry. Side by side, they're about, they grow to about the same size. The Real Techniques one just kind of looks a little bigger because the shape is different, so it like pokes up a little bit more. As you can see here, like the original Beauty Blender is kind of more like an egg shape with a point, and then the Real Techniques sponge has a flat top with a pointed shape at the bottom. I really, really love the shape of the Real Techniques sponge as compared to the Beauty Blender because it has this flat top. It's a lot easier to blend in and press in your foundation when you're doing your makeup. And then of course the pointed edge is really good for getting in those little small areas and under your eyes and you know around your nose and then I like to flip it on its side and lay it down and when I'm doing a cream contour I just kind of like do that kind of thing right there. Honestly they're identical. There's no difference in like when you squeeze them when they're wet. They feel the exact same love this is an amazing dupe for those of you out there who are looking for something in comparison to the beauty blender and just like me can't justify buying a 20 dollars sponge that's gonna get ruined you know over time i'm sure this will get ruined over time but i mean replacements six bucks you can't beat that this is so worth the six dollars and it's not even that much of an investment it's so affordable definitely go out and buy it and try it if you guys want to see the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge in action, then just keep watching. Before you guys go, I want to make a few announcements. I have two. I was debating and sitting thinking about new things that I can do with my channel. I actually thought of the idea of 
making a mini series I guess you could call it to my channel and it's just gonna be like beauty basics because I know personally I just kind of go in and do it and kind of hope that you guys can pick up what I'm doing visually but you know I know there's some of you out there that like to hear that talk through and more explanation and why you do this as compared to this or you know things like that so I'm gonna make this mini series and I'm gonna title it beauty basics if you guys have any suggestions for videos I have a few in mind that I'm gonna do definitely write those down below because I will be taking every suggestion and doing them because I want everyone collectively that watches these videos that I'm producing for you guys to kind of be on the same page and know how to do certain things you know that I want everyone to grow and learn together here so definitely write me a little comment down below let me know what you guys want to see because I will be starting out from inside out I guess you could say so be on the lookout for that mini series coming up and my second announcement would be that I will be at IMAX New York tomorrow which is April 12th yeah so I'm hopefully gonna get this video up before tomorrow but I will be at IMAX all day so if you're there and you see me definitely come by say hello that's it for today and I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you may be watching this from like the video down below if you like the idea of the beauty basics series coming out make sure you follow me on all my social media I will put all those links down below I have an Instagram I have a Twitter I have a Pinterest yeah that's it for now um, if there's any other social media I'm sure I'll get on it too but I will put all the links to that down below so check out the bottom bar and then I will also put links to where you can find the real technique sponge and yeah that's it so I will see you guys next time bye